The Craftsman and Freemason's Guide, containing a delineation of the rituals of Freemasonry, by Cornelius Moore is a significant literary work that delves into the intricate world of Freemasonry. Published in 1825, this guide serves as a comprehensive exploration of the rituals associated with Freemasonry, offering readers a detailed glimpse into the secretive and highly ritualized practices of the craft. One of the key aspects of Moore's work is its meticulous attention to detail. The author provides a thorough delineation of the rituals, leaving no stone unturned in his exploration of Freemasonry. This commitment to detail serves to demystify the often enigmatic practices of the Freemasons, offering readers a rare insight into the rites and ceremonies that define the craft. Moore's prose is characterized by its clarity and precision. Despite the esoteric nature of the subject matter, the author employs a language that is accessible to a wide audience. This deliberate choice of language ensures that even those unfamiliar with the intricacies of Freemasonry can engage with the content and gain a nuanced understanding of its rituals. Moore's ability to convey complex ideas in a clear and concise manner contributes to the enduring relevance of his work. The historical context in which The Craftsman and Freemason's Guide was written adds another layer of significance to the text. Published during a period of heightened interest in secret societies and esoteric knowledge, Moore's Guide capitalizes on the curiosity of the time. It not only satisfies the intellectual appetite of readers eager to uncover the mysteries of Freemasonry but also reflects the broader cultural fascination with hidden realms of knowledge during the 19th century. A notable aspect of Moore's work is its portrayal of Freemasonry as a noble and virtuous institution. The rituals, as delineated by the author, are presented as a means of moral and intellectual edification. This positive portrayal aligns with the broader perception of Freemasonry as a fraternity dedicated to the moral and intellectual betterment of its members. Moore's Guide thus serves not only as a practical manual for those interested in the rituals but also as a testament to the perceived virtues of Freemasonry during the time of its publication. Additionally, the guide functions as a form of cultural documentation. By detailing the rituals of Freemasonry, Moore contributes to the preservation of a cultural and historical tradition. The rituals described in the text are presented as part of an ancient and sacred heritage, adding a layer of mystique to the practices of the Freemasons. In doing so, Moore's work becomes a valuable artifact that captures and immortalizes a specific aspect of cultural and social history. While the guide is undoubtedly a rich source of information, it is essential to consider the potential biases of the author. Moore, being a Freemason himself, may approach the subject with a certain degree of partiality. His insider perspective could influence the portrayal of Freemasonry in a favorable light, potentially downplaying any controversies or criticisms associated with the craft. Readers should approach the text with a critical eye, acknowledging the author's affiliation and its potential impact on the presentation of information. In conclusion, the Craftsman and Freemason's Guide, by Cornelius Moore stands as a valuable literary work that provides a detailed and accessible exploration of the rituals of Freemasonry. Through meticulous attention to detail, clear prose, and a positive portrayal of the craft, Moore contributes to the cultural documentation of Freemasonry while catering to the intellectual curiosity of his contemporary audience. However, Readers must remain cognizant of the potential biases inherent in the author's perspective as a practicing Freemason.